Okay, so here's some information. Let's just see, can we determine whether these are mutually exclusive or not? Okay, how could we do that? How could we show that these are mutually exclusive or show that they're not? What conditions would we have to meet? What about PA plus PB? Yeah, so if they're mutually exclusive, we can try to verify, is this equal? If this is true, then they must be mutually exclusive. Okay, what's the difference between this and the, uh, the other formula? What's not, what's missing here? Right, basically what we're saying is you don't need to subtract P, A, and B because it would be equal to zero if they were mutually exclusive. That's how we know one of two things, either the A and B add up to A or B, or the, uh, P, the probability that A and B both occur is zero. Okay, so let's go the direct route. Is 7 over 12 equal to 1 quarter plus 1 third? That's what we want to check. If it is, they're mutually exclusive. So that'll be 3 out of 12 plus 4 out of 12. So yes, they are equal, 7 out of 12. So we can do it directly as we did, or the other alternative was maybe from the information given, maybe it's easier to determine that the probability they both occur is zero. Okay. okay. So is there any questions there? We're going to take a look at some Venn diagram type of stuff, which uh, it's fairly common for our course. So. Here's uh, some information we might have to process. For example, there are 30 students in a class, 16 are on the internet, 10 use email. Of these, six are doing both. What's the probability a randomly selected student is surfing the internet or using their email? Okay, so let's, uh, let's try and model this first with a Venn diagram. It looks like there's two groups according to the information I've got. One which is using the internet and one which is using email. So my job is to try to figure out how to create the Venn diagram. Does anybody have a good suggestion on where to start? Good, the both part is the, the, the easy way to start. Six do both. So how many are left over that are just doing email? Right, there's four left over because 10 were doing email and six we've already counted. Okay, what about how many are just doing internet? Right, and what's missing? The other 10, which aren't doing any, right? So there's 30 in the class. 20 have been counted already here. So 20 here, 10 that are doing neither. So we can solve it now using the picture. If we want to know how many are doing both, that's this group here within internet and email. That's going to be 20 out of 30. It's also possible to solve this one with the formula we've been working with. And this one is a dead giveaway to use the formula because all the pieces that we need are in the problem. So it's nothing left for us to do other than put it into the formula. So what I mean is sometimes the information you're given is not ready to be used in the formula. In that case, you probably want to look at your Venn diagram to, to find the missing information. But here, it tells us who does both. That's this. How many are doing internet? That's this. And how many are doing email? That's this. So all the pieces are there. This is a good candidate to just use the formula directly. There's 16 out of 30, which are doing internet. 10 out of 30, which are doing email. And 6 out of 30, which are doing both. So you see we end up with the same answer. But it's not enough to just always rely on the formula. Sometimes you may have to rearrange. So I have an example of that coming up. Um, and the technique that I like to use instead of a Venn diagram, I call this the table method uh, or a Venn diagram table. And I want to walk you through if we were to repeat this process on the, the question we just did. Okay, so what we want to do is add up the totals. So for example, this represents the internet users. So the total number of internet is 16. Okay. This one here, this represents the emailers. There are 10 emailers. I also have some information that six are doing both. 
and I know that there are 30 students in the classroom, meaning all of together there's 30. So now you have to play a little bit of a puzzle to figure out how these add up. So for example, 6 plus 4 equals 10. So I can tell you that 4 are not using the internet. Okay. Um, sorry, 4 are using the internet but are also using email. Um, if I go this way, that would add up to 10, 20, 10, and 14. Now you can ask me anything like who's not using email but is using the internet. Well, not using email but using internet, there's 10. Okay. So try this one out. You can use the Venn diagram, you can use the, the uh, table method, but I think you'll find it quite challenging to use a formula. 100 Math 12 students are surveyed, 53 have an iPod. 34 have a cell phone, and um, 21 have neither. If a student is chosen at random, uh, what is the probability they will have a cell phone? So I'm going to do it both ways just so you can see the alternatives. So here's the Venn diagram way if that's what you chose to do. So this is going to be iPods, this is going to be cell phones. The information tells me 34 do both. And I know that um, 53 have an iPod. So that leaves me, let's see here, with 29, no, sorry, 19, that have an iPod but no cell phone. Okay. Um, 21 have neither, so 21 are here. If I add all these up, let's see here, that gives me 21 plus 19 plus 34, 74. So that means there's got to be 26 people, sorry, <laughs> no, 26 was right. There's got to be 26 people left over with a cell phone, but no uh, iPod, because there's 100 inside the uh, class, okay? So what's the probability they have a cell phone? It's everybody in this circle, which is 70 out of 100. If we did the table math, <laughs> I'm rushing, I apologize. That's 60 out of 100. If I did the table method, here's iPod, no iPod, cell phone, no cell phone. So it says 53 have iPods. There's 100 people here. And neither is this column, 21, and 34 have both. So I can start to add these up. That's going to give me uh, 19. That means when I add these together, I get uh, 30, 40. So there's 60 here, which means 26 go there, and 47 go there. So again, there is, uh, how many have a cell phone? 60 out of the 100, or 60%, have a cell phone. 